Welcome to Champagne Gains, the podcast where we pop the cork on the world of fitness competitions, lifestyle, and everything in between. I'm your co-host, Becca Mickelson, nutrition coach, personal trainer, and NPC bikini competitor. And I'm Kiki, IFBB pro bikini athlete and coach. Together, we'll be guiding you through the ins and outs of what it takes to shine on the stage and life, while keeping it real and having a little fun along the way. From prepping for the big day to enjoying the post-show treats, we're going to cover it all. We'll also be talking about food, fitness, and how to balance this unique lifestyle with our everyday lives. Plus, we'll be inviting some special guests to join us on the show, fellow competitors, coaches, and others in the industry who can share their wisdom and stories with us. And of course, we'll be getting personal and sharing our own experiences, successes, and struggles as we train and compete in this exciting world of fitness competitions. So grab your favorite glass of bubbly and let's get ready to dive into today's episode of Champagne Gains. I'm so smart. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> We're just talking about coffee. Um, caffeine. Fucking caffeine. You know you don't sleep very well if you drink a lot of caffeine, right? I don't think that's my issue. Oh. Well, yeah, if you're cutting back. It was mine. Yeah. Well, until last night. <laughs> Beckon is in the, the deep depths of of We're her in the throes. yes it's wild like I don't feel like a total shithole during the day but you can definitely there's definitely symptoms signs and symptoms, <laughs> <laughs> signs and symptoms that you are um in like single digit weeks out yes or... <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. single digit weeks yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) I'm so excited for you um but welcome welcome back to another episode of Champagne Gains I am Coach Beckin (laughs) yes you are Coach Beckin and I am Coach Kiki (laughs) I am Ron Burgundy (laughs) Jesus Christ I think it's good that at least we're both not in prep right now. So we don't have yeah. a brain. This is true. Someone knows what's going on. <laughs> we would both be like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, since we're getting so close. Oh, sorry. That was our intro conversation, I guess. The coffee thing. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're talking about, well, I have to leave soon. So um I'm actually going to get a bunch of stuff to put in my show day bag and things that I need for competing soon. So we're talking about packing for show day weekend. Yes. Show day weekend packing is my favorite. I started like four, three weeks ago. It, I was just like hyped one day. I'm like, I got to get all this stuff together. And I had so much, well, like after moving, there's shit everywhere like uh, some of it was at my parents some of it is with me some of it I have to buy um so I've been rounding it up for a couple of weeks now you just like make a pile I think yep. that's like my first thing I do is just make a pile of this is the pile of competition stuff and then you can organize it and pack it later yeah and my pretty little show my little leopard show day bag yes I think that's um like if you're definitely if you're planning on doing like multiple shows like have your bag and just keep it packed yeah so like when you get home from your first show you you know wash your suit and you know get off get anything like um like re-up on anything that may that you may need more of Mm -hmm. um and then it's just like ready to go so then it makes every other competition like that you're going to like oh well that's it then you literally just have to pack like maybe some a a cloak like a set of clothes right (laughs) yeah yeah so little um mine was still like mostly packed from last year besides like there was like dry like hand wipes in it and stuff (laughs) and I took a bunch of random crap out and removed stuff around which was fun but yeah so first order of business first thing you need is a show day bag and I would suggest getting a rolling one because we don't need anything a like ruining the tan on your shoulders b 
lugging something around unless you have a person for that. <laughs> but the rolling ones are great. Yeah. Roll roller bags are awesome. You know, yes. you don't need anything super big. We don't need to bring your big like wagon? vacation. <laughs> you don't need to bring a wagon. You don't need a big Mexico vacation <laughs> sized um, a checked bag. Yeah. You don't need that. You know, if you can have like a, a cutesy little, like little kids roller bag that yeah. has Disney princesses on it, if you would like. Fuck yeah. Honestly, like I, you don't even need anything. I feel like we don't need shit for finals. Like, yeah. I never even want to bring it to finals, but for prejudging when you're back there for what feels like a century, it's good to have all your stuff. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the stuff like you may not use, but it's, it, I would rather be safe than sorry. Always. Yeah. yeah. Just in case having some of these things. And even for me as a coach, like I, I have a lot of this stuff like with me, if I'm just coaching just mm -hmm. just because I am anxious like yeah. I'm going to um this will come out after Tyler's show but I'm going to the Dave Lieberman on Saturday and I literally just have Tyler so men are easy but you bet your bottom dollar I will still have a my um sewing, sewing kit. kit I'll have lash glue I'll have you know bobby <laughs> pins I will have I'll I mean I was planning on bringing a couple of extra kitty suits just in case because right. I would hate for any athlete even if like I don't care if you're mine or not to you've put in all this work and then something happens to your suit mm -hmm. like please wear the please wear the suit right like, <laughs> Yeah, and that's, I mean, obviously good for you as a coach to do. It's going to get you remembered and, like, just helping people backstage. Yeah. Like, yeah. offer your shit to other people if they need it. <laughs> Help other people yeah. out. Um, so do you want to go through kind of, like, your, um, like, stuff that you need to make sure you have in your bag for, like, the stage? For the stage. Yeah, so heels jewelry and make sure you have your obviously your suit which was probably on you um but your button um make sure that shit is on you at all times as far as and then you know your pump up stuff so resistance bands the ones with the handles don't do the loops and ruin your tan with that i also have tiny baby dumbbells in my um in my bag I actually I had three pound ones and then I found two pound ones in my parents I was like mm, Ooh. put these both in here <laughs> that's why my bag's so heavy um that's why you get a roller bag exactly yes um and then like pump up food for the stage depending on what your coach tells you to do but what's what's your pump up what Pink Himalayan salt and trolley sloths, sloths in sand, aka salt, but we need to find the sloths. Yeah. They're very hard to find. Um, I should have stocked up from just a old fucking sloth from two years ago. <laughs> so, well, you still have yeah. the sloths in there from your show. Yes, they be hard as rocks. Hard as freaking rocks. Um, rocks and sand <laughs> but yeah you gotta you know you lick the you get the sloth wet and dip it in the sand salt and that's your pump up and then a shot of fireball I might change that this year I don't know maybe yeah. bourbon mm. we'll see we'll see what I find today I was gonna look today um for that or just get, I need to like get one of those like buckets of fireball and <laughs> all the little ones um but as far as for the stage you know that's my that's my pump up and then just having like whatever else we decide food wise that I need back there currently there's sour patch yeah kids the lemonade ones and 
I don't, I got, I had bought these on a whim at a checkout. Reese's mini fast breaks. <laughs> Cause those are fucking amazing. Ooh. But I just bought them because of you telling me that Ben made Alexa eat six Reese's cups one time. So I was like, maybe I'll get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was Alexa's night before yeah. show. That was her last meal. Was six Reese's. I freaking love it. <laughs> um, that's the advantage of being ready early. So then you can you know do these things, right? But obviously, your food that you have for your pump up, um, and the food that you're eating, you know, backstage in that day is going to be dictated by your coach. So, mm -hmm. um, if we are not your coaches ask your coach what you need um yeah don't slide into my dms and ask me questions you should ask your coach please no <laughs> especially if it has in regards to food yeah that is like probably the most important thing that you need to listen to your coach and what they say yeah yeah um, yeah um, always some sort of i mean in general it's going to be some sort of sodium some sort of quick carb yeah, that could be in the form of honey, rice cakes, frosting. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about frosting. Gummy, gummy candy, um, salt. Some people do. I like using just plain salt, just because it's easier. Um, and then I can get my carbs and fats from something else. Mm -hmm. um, some people do chips. Some people do pickles. If you like a pickle pump, really just depends on what your coach says and what their philosophy is. Yeah. Um, I think other things, you know, um, to be like stage ready, you know, I always like bringing, um, you know, some touch-ups for makeup, just in case if it rains or if it's sweaty, like out there, if it, you're sweaty, you know, you want to make sure you're be able to touch up your skin. Um, so if you have just like a, a powdered sup or powdered supplement, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not a makeup artist, uh, like a powder, oh, your <laughs> makeup powder, um, to like put over yourself, um, blotting papers. Um, those are definitely really nice to have. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like using like an old, um, bring like an old bronzer brush, um, with me. So then you can like blend your makeup in with your tan or blend things on your face. If you are, you know, getting like splotchy or something like yes. that. Um, lip, lip stuff, because the people will, that do your makeup will do your lips, but usually if they give you anything, it's just like, okay, thanks. Like <laughs> You're not, yeah, I that. always so bring my own. Have like your own. Makeup. Yeah. When the makeup artists are like asking what color lip, I'm like, I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, because then you can have like the full tube mm -hmm. of whatever. Um eyelash I, glue. Eyelash glue. Yes, I was just about to say that. Like bring that. A hand mirror is always nice to have. Mm -hmm. Um, because I mean, some venues have, you know, mirrors backstage, but it's not going to be as many as you need and there's always going to be some girl hogging it um so bring a hand mirror um if you you know if your hair is a little bit funky and it doesn't like to cooperate uh you know having a curling iron or a flat iron um will will be nice mm -hmm. um even if it's like a small travel one just to do some touch-ups um That's and great. an ex extension cord for those <laughs> yeah um and then maybe a phone chart the random phone charger if it's yeah. a long day yeah because you're going to be taking pictures your battery's yeah. going to be eaten through and you're going to want to make sure that you can you know communicate more pictures yes yeah, and communicate all about pictures coach. yes um what else? okay well for backstage I have like I have like a neck pillow packed I mean you can put your head on your freaking bag or whatever but something to rest your head on and then like a sheet or something to sit on or a blanket maybe depending on the venue um well like in Minnesota I brought that and I didn't even need it because it was such a quick show but you know in Nashville we were sitting back there forever so having something to sit on that's not the cold hearts meant for um yeah and then I bought that sloth blanket <laughs> but 
something like you need like your clothes for that day should be warm like you don't need to be freezing your ass off back there so like loose clothes a loose some people some people use like a yoga mat to sit on too yeah. which is nice because it has right. some cushion yes that seems like I, don't um, I like to get around. I always bring like headphones. Yeah. What? I'm too lazy to lug a, a yoga mat around. <laughs> yeah, I wish there was like a foldable one. That right. Would be nice. Yeah. Headphones. Um, I like, so yeah, like I like bringing headphones backstage because you know, as much as I like talking to people, when I'm getting ready on stage, like I need to listen to my like hype up music. Mm -hmm. um and kind of like get me like in the zone yeah yeah I'm like I don't think I've ever done it because I get anxious like I'm like what's going on like who's next what are they on so I like to like yeah. listen to what's going on <laughs> but yes yeah, that I had to wait idea to get up on. what I had to wake some girl up once she had her headphones in um, and it was like mid, it was like midnight. This was my like regional show. Oh yeah. Uh, in Tampa. She had her headphones in. She was like vibing. I was like, yo, <laughs> we're getting oh it. Gosh. Stage the I oh, can't like, imagine. Yeah. My brain would not allow that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, um, I always like to have hand wipes with me just for like the palms of my hands because dude, you can't really wash your hands um with the tan so like having those hand wipes just for like getting sticky if you're eating frosting or honey or whatever or get salt on your hands that's nice and just to get like the tan off and then obviously washing that's how I wash them after use the restroom and on the restroom thing having pee cups that's like the number one I mean dude don't mess up your tan Get the pee cups. Make sure your holes are pre-poked in them. <laughs> so I remember we'd like sit there with the the cups and just like, all right, yes, how yes. Many, how many do we think we need? <laughs> you know why? But we always have more than we need. But that's good. Um, yeah, don't fucking sit on the toilet. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, like you, like baby wipes. A lot of this stuff, like, honestly, I get at the dollar store. Yeah. Um. So it's not like a big expense. Right. You don't need a, you don't need an entire industrial size pack of baby wipes, just no. like a little travel pack. Um. But yeah, the dollar store is great for getting this shit. Um, mm -hmm. I also have my, well, I remember at North Americans doing my nails backstage, like my glue on nails. So those are in my show day bag. I'm going to do those the day before. But having extras, if you are using press on nails, is a great idea as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, small sewing kit. Also, yes. you can get this at the dollar store just in case something happens with your suit. Mm -hmm. um, I know Sean. I don't know her last name. Hector Lewis. Sean's yeah. couture cuties. Yeah. He was talking about bringing uh fishing line with you oh. um and you like wrap that around your connector so if oh. like your connector ends up breaking like it's not it's going to stay there even if it breaks right so that's something oh. to consider Dude, that'd be my worst fucking fear <laughs> freaking yeah. connector pops on stage and your freaking coochie's out what would you do you just like i i don't know i have Hold no it. idea i don't know i have no idea well pray i also for that have um i don't extra heels i just you know just in case that's another fear like what the heel broke off the bottom <laughs> yeah but yeah, when i when i turned pro like after i got off stage for pre-judging my heels broke so I went from strapless heels to we're yeah. doing mules because I just cut I had to cut them off mm -hmm. and that's wild <laughs> yeah that's crazy what if that would have happened on stage right like I probably wouldn't be a pro you know like I probably yeah. wouldn't have got my card then that's crazy 
Um, also like slides, slippers, whatever mm -hmm. you don't want to wear backstage. Cause you're not going to have your heels on. There's always like one or two girls who show up to the venue, like walking in the venue in their heels. And I'm like, what are you doing? Your Why? feet are going to be inflamed. Like miserable. get some slides, get some yeah. fun slippers. This is your time to like, have you know, fun. you already look ridiculous with the orange tan. You have big gaudy makeup on, um, you're lean. So people are going to stare at you anyways. So you might as well have fun. Like yes. I wear my Max Effort um, cover up, which is like the Hawaiian shirt. And I have my Max Effort slides. Mm -hmm. I'm just like chilling. <laughs> That's why I got the fucking ridiculous sloth blanket. It's still like folded up and like wrapped. So I haven't gotten out, but it has a freaking sloth hood. <laughs> like hands. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how you make friends backstage. Yep. Is yeah. with your ridiculousness mm -hmm. and be yourself like be yourself don't be intimidated actually uh well yeah i'm not gonna tell that story <laughs> danny said people were not nice at her show this past weekend so that annoys me like be Come nice. on be nice be to competitors yeah what, it's like single person sport but like you're all in it together yeah um one, I think the only other thing that I have on here on my list um, is some sort of hydration for post-show. Um, obviously water, um, Pedialyte, you do coconut water. I personally like body armor. Um, shout out body armor. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> uh, they're the like, they're my favorite for post-show. Yeah um yes please fucking drink that was danny's role last weekend I was like yo gatorade zero and water in me like before anything else yeah, um you gotta get this uh electrolytes as, back in you yes as far as just not backstage stuff black sheets for the hotel but wherever you're staying um black sheets like your own blanket. I have pillowcases with me um, and black towels so that you don't ruin the towels of wherever you're staying. And I have like a lot packed because I always feel like I'm like using the same towel for every single thing if I only bring one, which is gross. So yeah. Yeah. I um I use a um oh yeah you're uh sleep sack. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a sleep sack. Um, so like a sleeping bag liner, that's what it's called. I got oh, mine yeah. on Amazon. Um, I, cause I just never I really worry that. about changing the seats sheets and I just slide myself in there and then you're good to go, um, with that. So you could do that as well. I've like, um, a lot of the stuff I've kind of like added on each and every season, like, okay, now I'm going to do buy the sleeping bag liner this year because I like that as opposed to the sheets. Or mm -hmm. like last year, I even bought like a full set of like two person towels on Amazon yeah. because I just wanted to have them already packed in my bag, something that I wouldn't have to worry about going into every other show. It's like, mm -hmm. these are the show towels and that's it. Um, same thing with like my blanket and pillow. Like I use the same ones and they just stay there. <laughs> yeah. The donut pillow. That's another thing that is like peaky brand. So yeah. Yeah. Fun. Um, I have a hairnet that you gave me in my, or a shower cap. Not a hair yeah. Net. yeah. And then don't forget your hair. If you're wearing extensions, don't, don't forget, forget to weave. weave. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible if I would forget like my hair. Oh my God. That'd be awful. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then obviously like cool or like your normal foods that you eat for like the day before the show. Um, and I would suggest maybe some bringing some food for the day after your show 
Um, so you don't have like a buck wild day. Like right. you still want to make sure you're getting like, you don't want to be a complete asshole. And a way to do that is to keep some of your things consistent. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to go out to like a brunch or something, that's cool. But maybe if you have like a long car ride home, like bring a protein shake with you or chicken, you know, chicken is um, a snack. yeah, chicken is a snack. <laughs> Um, and I think that's it, honestly. Yeah. Oh, the most important part that we like to do because it's the only time that we get to dress up. Oh, I was gonna say that, yeah, fucking post show outfit. That's all I care about. That's well, all I care about. I want well, it's it's fun, like, I have I love dressing up, yeah, post like because. You've probably spent however many weeks in prep, not going out to restaurants. You're probably not wearing normal people clothes. You're probably just in sweats and workout gear. Mm -hmm. um, your jeans are too baggy. So you don't want to wear those because they're going to fall off your hips. So post show outfit. Yes. Get don't some. forget it. You, yeah. It's important. So Make sure it goes well with your crown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And again, another time where you can just like be yourself. Focus like I'm, you want, I'm thinking wear whatever like, you want. Yeah, I'm like like it's like Vegas style outfits for me because yeah. I'm not going to wear that anytime else throughout the entire year except for post show. You bet that I'm gonna be in a hot girl outfit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's a necessity. And I need to plan mine for your post shows. <laughs> Are we going out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just, <laughs> yes, you do. We can, we can walk to get some water. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. I think but that covers If you it. have any questions, please feel free to. DM us on Instagram. You can find me at Beckon underscore bikini. You can find me at Keekers Laugh underscore IFBB Pro. Unless it's in regards to food and your protocols. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a five-star rating and review and let us know what you think. You can find us on all your streaming platforms. Otherwise, I'm going to get my hair done for my show. Yay! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> What's up, guys? Coach Kiki here. I just wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of Champagne Gains. If you loved this episode, please make sure you do all of the things. Like, subscribe, give us a five-star rating and review, and share with your champagne bestie. Champagne Gains is also brought to you by Coach Kiki LFG Gym Gear. Unlock the full power of your workouts with Coach Kiki's Let's Fucking Grow hip bands, long resistance bands, cable ankle straps, and hip thrust pads. For all of your sprinkle booty gains, check out CoachKikiLFG.com. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.